happy Mars Day Collective. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. It's the Pisces High Priestess. You guys can call me Siren. So we're going to get into today's timeless channel planetary message, y'all. And I'm just getting like, um, uh, what is that song called? The Difference Is or A Difference or something by Lil Dark with Summer Walker. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. <clears throat> Yeah, the difference is my bitch bad and she killing them. Yeah, I feel like um, they see the material. Yeah, um, they know the difference. I feel like uh, if you're dealing with somebody, they know exactly who they have. I feel like you are going to be appreciated. Um, yeah, I feel like they know who they have. And I feel like they're proud about it too. They want to like yeah they know they know who they have they want to let other people know who they have so maybe somebody wants to be exclusive or move things forward i'm also getting you need to know who you are uh i think i said last week that there was a situation where like everybody knows you're winning or everybody knows like your spot but you yeah every yeah everybody see the difference the difference between the way that they uh treat you maybe than treat others or yeah so maybe you don't really know them. So maybe somebody's treating you a certain way. And because you don't really know them, you don't know that that's out of their character or that it's like something that's kind of, I guess, amazing or something like that. <laughs> the Two of Cups, yes. I feel it. So there's an equal give and take. It's a lot of love in this reading here today for Mars Day. Yes, I feel like a, a connection is becoming grounded. It is actually it's starting to grow and blossom. Something I don't. I feel like the first pinnacle or the first anniversary or you want somebody kind of know. Um, okay, so this is like so new love. This is like you finally have a like finished like they that like gray area or gray I don't know what it is of where somebody's a stranger you don't know them but they're also not somebody that you've known for a long time you know you can't say you know that oh, I know this person like the back of my hand da, 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 but they're also not a stranger so you're like yeah you're moving to you and somebody yeah y'all not strangers anymore so <laughs> The other person's like, what is becoming of this? Or what's becoming of me? Or they're changing. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, longevity. Yeah, the first. I'm getting, this is a relationship that will last for a very long time. Y'all are going to grow old together. This is just the first pinnacle or the first anniversary or first, like, something. Something represents, like, okay, the first tally or the first, like, time put in. The first I don't know. Maybe I had y'all first fight or something. Yeah, it's like something represents like okay, like because the pinnacles is it is physical things, but pinnacles is work. You have to work on relationships. So maybe y'all had y'all first fight or something that you had to work through get over it. Um, like the first pinnacle, the first something that shows like okay, we can last, we can get through it, we can. Um, yeah, we're a team. This person's so proud of you. I feel like they think that you're like them in some ways, or you feel like this. Yeah, somebody like looks forward to growing old with you. That's sweet. Or building a family with you. You could be meeting somebody's family. It's Mars Day. Why is this? <laughs> but yeah, I feel like cause, uh, this is grounding. Like, whoa, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten.
a very secure family, very uh, generational wealth, secure, safe family, but then also uh, a family that has a lot of love, a lot of soul, a lot of spirit, but also very, could, see, okay, boom. So this is what I'm getting from this person and wh why you make the difference. You could be a Pisces or a Cancer with the um, Ten of Cups. Don't have to be. But um, you make the difference because... Damn, let me... Uh, I be wanting to watch my tongue because, y'all, some stuff I say, I feel like it can resonate with some other people. And it's like, oh, I'm not even talking about you. Um, They've always kind of, uh, dang, I don't know. I mean, okay. They've always envisioned like a ten of pentacles with anybody. I'm, I'm not even saying necessarily you. They've always envisioned, okay, um, I'm going to have a family. I have family. I have a woman or I have multiple women and I have kids. And yeah, and maybe even treated relationships as transactional, maybe not just as far as money, but like, love like like very like old school oh 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 old school like ancient old school like dang my hat just hit the camera y'all <laughs> like um okay we're cool you're like minded i'm like minded um want to have a baby okay or want to invest it's not really a lot of feeling behind it it's just kind of like okay um We'll do this, and you'll get that out of this, and I'll get this, and yeah, that's okay, right? Okay, nice doing business with you. They've always envisioned having the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is money, it's wealth. Oh my God, look at all this money and gold, but there's not a feeling to it. I feel like they've never really maybe desired the Ten of Cups until um, you, you came through, and you kind of even gave them... A new perspective, a new color, the rainbow. You were a new color. They didn't, it's not that they, okay. It's not that they even prefer the Ten of Pentacles over the Ten of Cups. Like, no, nah, I don't want any emotions. Let's just do this. Had these kids. Let's just build a family and, and that's that. And yeah, I'll buy your ring and, and that's, yeah. It's not that they preferred this over that. It's that they never had seen this before to even know that they would want it or desire it. And I always say, it's hard to envision a brand new color on the color wheel. You can't do it. But then you came through and you're, you're so colorful. I'm also getting to my anime watchers. Tokyo Ghoul, the opening anime song for Tokyo Ghoul. When like, um, oh my gosh, yeah, when her, uh, the wings out of her back like came out and it was like super colorful and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think at that part, I mean, the song obviously is, is in Japanese, but the subtitles at that part is like, um, when I found you, you struck me. I feel like that's how it is. Somebody's like, dang, when I found you, you struck me. And like all these colors and just vibrancy. Somebody wants love in the dynamic as well. And their family love Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Mm-hmm. So you are this person's one. And if you have not met this person, you will. I am kind of getting new love. You are this person's one. You're the only one. It, so I guess it's, it's something's genuine. Something something before with this person was like other people giving them the cup. It was like this. Right? The cup of love. Ah, yeah, I swear to God, the queen of cups. You, yeah, other people get, trying to give them love or give them emotion or give them, um, like, I don't know. Maybe even certain affirmations or... 
I don't, everything just sounded like BS, like bullshit. But you, your energy is so vibrant and rare. It's so evident, anybody that you come across, even if you just met them, it's so evident that you are a person that um, is genuine and extremely authentic. You have a, a different type of authenticity about yourself. And it carries with you everywhere you go. And people can notice it. Can you notice it? But yeah, people can notice it. So when this person was kind of getting a cup of love from other people, it felt like the four cups, like, eh, eh. Or it seemed like everything. Something about your love's different. Because sometimes the four cups, it's um like being spoiled. Like having so much that you're like, I don't even want it. You're like, oh, a cup of a cup of love. I have three other women. Yay, thank you. I'll put your cup next to the other collection of bitches that I got or something. Sorry for the <laughs> literally six of cups. You're like, oh yeah, like yeah. But when you came with your cup, it looked like an ace. It looked like, oh, I ain't never seen this before. What is this? What is this cloud? What is this? And the difference is... <laughs> the Five of Cups. This person could have even tried. Tried? What other stuff? God just... They just got disinterested for whatever reason. So you could have sparked something again. Yeah, you do this a lot, uh... You come into um, maybe people with the Five of Cups energy, and you are always an ace. You're extremely healing. You have the Six of Cups. You're kind of like a guardian angel. You're extremely healing. And it's the simplest stuff. You can do it. Don't give up. They probably heard that, like, a billion times from people. I don't know. Like... It can even be like a stranger you come across, but you say something and you do something and it's like, well, I'm getting so, it's because of who you are. Again, that, that presence of God and that presence of, um, that Christ light that surrounds you. When you give these words of affirmations, when you, you know, you do these certain things for people, it feels like they are receiving it from the most high. It feels like, oh my God, I'm favored. Like, yeah, they, they told me have a good day. No, not them. They told me have a good day. Wow, that's different. God just told me to have a good day. God said I could do it. Uh, God is the way, the truth, and the light, right? Um, you're a truthful person. Yeah, it could have been an agenda before with other people or an agenda before with other people regarding... A child or the past or holding the past over somebody's head or holding a child over somebody's head. Literally over somebody's head with the hangman. Literally. Feeling tied up. Feeling tied up. Feeling um, bound. You show this person something different. And you know something? I was looking at... Um, cause y'all know I'll speak about men's mental health. I was looking at, um, one of my partners, I, I'll say associates. We're not really cool like that, but they were posting and I guess he was having a moment, but he was like, he was basically saying in so many words, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not okay. Like as a, as a man, like I'm not okay. I don't know how to stop working. My life is a cycle of work, sleep, and kids, and I feel stuck in the cycle, and I'm really unhappy. I feel like I'm not really living life. Like, I feel stuck. I feel like this is just work, this, this, and then you the obligation to um, your children. And since I know this person, I already know he has, like, issues with certain the mothers of, the, the, uh, mothers of his kids and stuff like that. So it's like, I just know. I don't know. When I read that, I felt hurt. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, really 
um, just like speak some light over him. Cause I just feel like it's not loving something or it should be. It should be like, yeah, like I, I work and provide, I, you know, take care of my family and go home or maybe somebody, they don't get to see their kids or something. Or, this is hard. Father's day. Yeah, a water sign, child, a cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, child. Or a child that's very intuitive and kind of can pick up on the energy. Yeah, I was just going to say, I feel like somebody that want to protect their, um, their kids. Yeah, from the five of swords, from this energy, from uh, just the fighting, the bickering, the the pettiness around kids. Also, feel like they don't think that you possess this energy to do this, or like, like they know that your focal point, if you have kids or uh, something that you're thinking of in the future, like your focal point is to also protect your children in that way. Like, let's not fight in front of them. Let's not do this in front of them. Um, yeah. Maybe with someone else, they have to battle a lot with what's right. Um, anything else? I want to get some of these nature cards, actually. Hmm. You have winter solstice reflection, which is interesting because... Actually, I'm going to speak about it later this week. Yeah, fire, passion. That dang. So their heart was ice cold. I also just saw the word submer. That's funny. I'm looking at this card. I'm like, why do I see the word submerged? Bottom of the deck, iceberg submerged. <laughs> like, why do I see submerged? You got somebody out. Your heat. Your fire. What is the, I'm also getting you are, just for whatever reason, you're looking up the difference between a solstice and an equinox. Why is it winter solstice, summer solstice, not spring solstice and fall solstice? Why is it spring equinox and fall equinox instead of solstice? You have the temple path. Yeah, you have a, a higher calling, a higher path. It's like you walk your path too in your real life. Aw, man holding a heart. Yeah. What is fun earth? You have storm warning and uh, action. Yeah, so somebody's ready to take action. They're ready to move forward. They're ready to take action there. So there could be co some commotion in the way or uh, there could be some conflicts in the way of um of this person's actions actions i don't i don't know why I said. <laughs> like wow you're being this um right y'all know the knight of swords is uh like this white horse fast so you're being the knight of swords you're being real fast real real decisive and sure real certain with this person but but with me it was the why did i get the dark horse oh probably because they want to play with magic <laughs> Right? Or they wanted to manipulate this person. Literally. Yeah, that song, um, Say You Wanna Play With Magic. Yeah, you should know who you're falling for. And then she's like, are you ready for a perfect storm? I ain't even gonna lie. This this uh, connection is kind of gonna drive somebody a little, little, little crazy. Yeah, I literally just split the deck on indecision. Cause oh, so you're decisive about that. You're real decisive about that. You're real. So that's what it is. Or I don't know. You have appreciation. Another rainbow. Happy family. Not gonna take that one off though. 
Okay, and more water uh, that I feel like. The garden and the gate. Somebody could have watched you grow up, or they, again, they will. You'll kind of grow older with this person. Um, or they're, yeah, both of y'all kind of, I'm, first of all, I'm getting, um, what's that movie? Or what is that movie? It's like 15, 30, what? What is that movie? 15 going on 30? Is that not the movie? Is this something else going on 30? I don't know. Going on 30, baby. Or you're not 30 yet. But, or they could be older than you. I feel like they watch you turn into, not, 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 not an adolescent. That's like a teenager. They watch you go from being, um, just younger to more mature. They literally are watching you transform in front of their eyes. They feel like that's beautiful. Uh, or you, um, you coming into your own style. That could be what it is, like maturing, changing your style, coming to your own type of person as a, a man or a woman. Literally, if you're a man, I feel like you, yeah, I feel like if you're a man, you're getting older and you're thinking about wanting to like change your style or something like that. Now, don't get me wrong, on the chill days, you may still want to do the, I don't know, the Nike tech, like whatever on the chill days. But I feel like when you step or when you step out, when you step, you want to step different. You want to be like, kind of like on your grown man stuff. Maybe you want to wear a turtleneck. I don't know. <laughs> but you, you're like, let me do different, do this different. Or you're looking at show your woman. Are you looking at like just a power couple dynamic? Like, yeah, we gotta look. First of all, again, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, like, oh yeah, that's how they come in. It's like how I gotta come too. Like, we gonna look good together. Yeah, I feel like a couple that looks real good together. So I'm gonna leave it here. If you felt like this message resonated on a personal level and you wanted more insight regarding your own personal situation, then be sure to click the link in the description box. It's the first link. You can book a personal session with me. I am having a sale right now on my general readings and relationship guidance. And yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Happy Mars Day again. Bye.